Hi, and welcome back. Now that we have looked at importing structures, modifying small molecules in 2 and 3D, and our workspace toggles, let's move on to the structure hierarchy and surfaces. The structure hierarchy is useful for diving into whatever structures you have included in your workspace on a more granular level. For instance, you can quickly locate a particular residue or ligand, as well as control how things are rendered in the workspace. Make sure to have your Maestro intro project open and your working directory set to your course folder. Before we begin, let's zoom out so we can see the whole entry. Let's go down to the bottom left corner of the interface where we will find the structure hierarchy table. You can see we have one entry included in the structure hierarchy. This is the same entry that's included in the workspace. We can change how an entry is displayed by using the structure hierarchy. Let's say we just wanted to change the rendering of the protein and keep the ligand as is. We can click on this triangle next to the CDK2 prepared and see the components of the entry. If we click on the arrow next to the protein and then the arrow next to chain A, you can see all of the residues within that chain. If you select and double click one of the residues, it will zoom you to that residue. You can also use the search feature in the structure hierarchy to find a residue by its name or number. Since we want to change just how the protein is displayed, we can select and hover over the protein, then click on the plus sign. We have an option here to change the view of the protein atoms in the same way that we do in the style toolbar. Right now, we can see only some of the protein atoms, which doesn't mean that the others aren't there, just that they are not displayed. If we click on the eyeball, then we can see all the atoms, including the hydrogens. If we unclick it, now none of the residues are in view. This is an important feature that allows us to control just how much detail we are able to see in the ligand binding site. It is important to structure-based drug discovery to try to strike a balance between having too many atoms displayed and not enough so that SAR can be built through the integration of as much atomic level detail as necessary. If we want to reset the view to how we just had it, we can come up once again to presets and double click to reset the view so that residues that are within a certain cutoff distance from the ligand are displayed. The next thing we are going to do is add a surface. There are several ways to add surfaces and one is from the structure hierarchy. We can do this just by clicking surface here. Now this might take a little bit of time when you first do it. Once this happens, you will see that the entire protein is now viewed as a surface with the default color being gray. Let's zoom out to see a bit more clearly. This surface view really allows us to see the depth and shape of the binding pocket. Let's toggle off the labels to make it a bit less cluttered. We can also display different properties on the surface, which will allow us to understand even more about the chemical properties of the ligand binding site around our ligand or HIT molecule. A few things have changed in our workspace. The first obvious change is that there's now a gray surface over the protein. The second is now that the toggle feature has become available for us. The surface's toggle light is blue now, before it was shaded out. If we click on this, then the surface is no longer displayed in our workspace. In the workspace, we can toggle it back on and the surface will come right back. The third way that we know a surface is present in our workspace is that if we look at the entry list, there is a S next to the entry in which the surface was added. If we click on that, a few other options come up. You can click on the quick molecular surface to uncheck it, and the surface will no longer be displayed. You can click to check it again, and the surface will once again become visible. You can also manage the surface and change how you view the surface in the workspace. Click on Manage. This is the Manage Surfaces panel. This is what will pop up when you click on the Manage Surfaces after clicking the S next to the entry in your workspace. If you want to change how the surface is displayed, you can look at an electrostatic charge or an electrostatic potential, for example. You will click on the specific surface that you want to change, highlight it in yellow, and then come down to display options. You can change the style of the surface from a solid to a mesh or dot. Now let's switch back to solid and set the color scheme to electrostatic potential. Just note that you can only view the electrostatics of your protein surface if the protein has already been prepared. Let's move these panels out of the way a little so we can see our newly rendered surface. You can also change the transparency of a solid surface by increasing the front surface transparency with the arrows here. Now you can see through the surface to the secondary structures of your protein. 
You can also change the surface color to some other property, including partial charge and several others. Click OK to exit out of the Manage Surfaces panel. As mentioned before, this is just one way to add a surface in Maestro. This will add a surface to your entire protein or whichever part of your protein you selected in the structure hierarchy. Let's come back to this and hide all surfaces. Let's go over a second way you can add a surface to just the ligand binding site, which is all you will really need to do if you are interested in eventually understanding the SAR for your ligands in that binding site. If you are looking for protein pockets or are interested in the electrostatics of the entire protein, this method may be more useful to you. Find Surface Binding Site in the Favorites toolbar and click on it. We are going to create a receptor surface that is five angstroms from the ligand with a transparency of 30%. The style will be solid and the color scheme will be electrostatic potential. Click OK. Now we have an electrostatic surface that is covering the protein within five angstroms of the bound ligand. This can give us helpful visual information about the ligand binding site. You can rotate the molecules in the workspace to explore the surface. In this video, we went through using the structure hierarchy and both creating and managing surfaces. In the next video, we will introduce you to a great tool for visualizing protein-ligand interactions. See you soon.